it's been um, a pleasure reminiscing about my time both in Harrisburg as, uh, as a youth, uh, my time in academia, both at the uh, Adelphi uh, Institute or Allegheny Institute, and the Monrovia School in Alexander, uh, Alexander High School, Monrovia, Thetford Academy, and of course, the Inns of Court in, uh, in England. And um, education is key. And so uh, it was always my endeavor to make sure that uh, the least of these, those who did not have the same opportunities because of the color of their skin, to go to the college, that I would do all that I could do to make sure or to ensure that they too would have the same opportunities. In fact, uh, my sister Charlotte became a teacher here in Harrisburg, uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, while I was in my, um, in Louisiana, uh, I met a, a young lady, uh, Florence, and we were married. We had a son, uh, Morris, and she too was a school teacher. And so teaching and education uh, is what I would leave for everyone. And if I could go come forward a little bit into the 20th century, I would say like the esteemed uh, Mary McLeod Bethune, who founded Bethune-Cookman College and worked under five presidents in the White House. And in her last will and testament, she said these words, I leave you a thirst for education. And that's what I would say to uh, all the youth and encourage uh, statesmen to, to uh, afford or to provide opportunity for youth of all creeds and colors to have the same opportunities to be the best that they can be in life.